Welcome to Real Reviews, where we take a look at major Hollywood releases and let you know if they're worth your time, money, and patience. I'm your host, Benesiak. Walter Benesiak. And today we're reviewing the new James Bond movie, Spectre. A cryptic message from the past leads James Bond, Daniel Craig, to Mexico City and Rome, where he meets the beautiful widow, Monica Bellucci, of an infamous criminal. After infiltrating a secret meeting, 007 uncovers the existence of the sinister organization Spectre. Needing the help of the daughter of an old nemesis, he embarks on a mission to find her. As Bond ventures towards the heart of Spectre, he discovers a chilling connection between himself and the enemy, Christoph Waltz, he seeks. So we're going to try something new today, folks. Usually I have these reviews fully scripted, but for this one I thought I'd just give you my thoughts in a more organic way. So it looks like this is going to be the last James Bond movie that Daniel Craig is ever going to do. From that infamous interview he gave uh, a few weeks ago, he said that he would rather slit his wrists than do another James Bond movie. <laughs> um, well, to tell you the truth, I hope this is his last James Bond movie because it is a great finale for Daniel Craig's Bond. It, everything ties together, and uh, this movie has great callbacks to the other three movies in the Daniel Craig series. Uh, back to Casino Royale, back to some Quantum of Solace stuff, and a lot of Skyfall stuff in there too. Um, it is just a great way to tie everything together, and how everything is connected is just really smart, and I'm glad that we got to see something like this happen for uh, Daniel Craig's James Bond. I hope this is the last one, because if they do any more after this, it'll feel kind of cheap. Um, so I hope that they can just move on after this with another actor. Uh, this movie looked beautiful. I mean, coming off Skyfall, it's the same team behind it, Sam Mendes directed, and it looks amazing. They go all around the globe just like in Skyfall. I'd say Skyfall had a little bit more variance on the locations, but it was still a beautiful movie, just uh, incredible to look at and breathtaking in some aspects. Some of the effects are great, a lot of real explosions, and it was a really nice movie just to see in a theater. Uh, the movie also felt huge. Like I said before, it goes back and forth between a lot of different locations, which in some of the earlier Daniel Craig installments seemed like he kind of didn't go to too many different locations. But with this one and with Skyfall, he definitely went globetrotting, as it were. Uh, this has a great musical score. The, the opening number I, like, wasn't one of my favorite uh, James Bond openings. Uh, the theme uh, has um, Sam Smith, I believe, sang it. But it's still like a decent song, and the score in the movie itself is really good and really added to it. Uh, Daniel Craig does not disappoint, as this is most likely his last time out as 007. He is great as he always is. Uh, this character that he's built up really made it his own, and he is very different from the other Bonds, and he has something very special. The blonde Bond did it again in this one. He had a great performance. Christoph Waltz was good. I mean, Christoph Waltz is always good in just about everything he does, but I felt like he was underused for some reason. Um, he could have benefited, I think, from more of a backstory explanation. They sort of explain the trailers what their connection is, and they go into it a little bit in the movie, but I wanted to see more of that connection. I wanted to see the, there was no big Christoph Waltz scene uh, where he really got to show off uh, his acting skills. I was waiting for that one big scene with him, but it, it just never seemed to came. But in any case, he was really good, a really good Bond villain. Uh, Leah Seydoux, as the new Bond girl, she is really good and by far the most developed Bond girl since Eva Green's Vesper Lynn from Casino Royale. She is really, really good, a really well-developed character. And I think that um, how everything sort of goes in the movie, I don't want to give anything away, but uh, her relationship with Bond, and she has her own arc, which is great. And it's good to see uh, a Bond girl from one of these movies, you know, really become a, a full character, and she absolutely was. Batista, uh, uh, Dave Bautista, I should say, I know him as Batista from uh, WWE, as Mr. Hinks was great. Uh, he had one line the whole thing, um, but he, he just is such a physical presence, and, you know, he doesn't need to talk because he has such a great physicality to him. His fight scene with James Bond on this train is a highlight of the movie, and it is is freaking awesome. He has a couple uh, really good car chases in there too, but that uh, train fight scene is 
uh, so well done and definitely one of the best parts of the film. In terms of things that aren't as good as uh, I would have hoped for this one, it's definitely not as good as Skyfall. I mean, I think a lot of people were hoping that it would surpass Skyfall because this is the last Sam, De Sam Mendes directed movie and the probably last Daniel Craig, so I think people wanted to end on the highest note possibly could. Uh, it just wasn't as good as Skyfall. Skyfall was a little bit more interesting, and uh, this one sort of paled, I wouldn't say paled in comparison, but it wasn't as good as Skyfall. And since Skyfall was so good, it was it's just hard to live up to something so amazing. Um, this does fall victim to some cliches that the series seemed to be passed by now, um, but overall it still was something fun, and I think people will enjoy it for the most part. Those cliches aren't too distracting. Uh, so three out of four, that isn't, that isn't too bad. It's a pretty good average for Daniel Craig's James Bond movies. This, Skyfall, and Casino Royale are great. Uh, Casino Royale is my favorite Bond movie. Uh, Quantum of Solace is sort of the on one out. Not a very good movie and definitely a big letdown following how good Casino Royale was. So Spectre still ranks way high up there and I really liked it. If you love Daniel Craig's James Bond or even some of the older elements from previous movies in the franchise, Spectre should entertain as a fitting finale for this Bond. I hope they end it here and start fresh with a new actor in a few years. I'm giving Spectre an 8 out of 10. Be on the lookout for more Real Reviews and the final edition of our competitive argument show, Real Debates, coming soon. Be sure to like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like, comment on, and share this video. Remember, if it's not reviewed here, it just isn't real. I'm Walter Bernasiak, and I'll see you at the movies.